ageism. If you are 30 at single, you'll be headed for depression because married women will start seeing you like a threat. Why? Because they'll believe you want to snatch their husbands. Getting married does not mean that you have fully discovered yourself. And then married men will see you like an asset. An asset to leak and chop and then they'll dump you. Ah, baby girl, let me tell you something. Any married woman that is scared of you as 30 plus and above snatching their husband, that means you are smoking hot. You are smoking hot because if you are a mess and going under the road of depression, as this lady is saying, that married woman wouldn't be bothered about you taking over her man. She is only bothered about you taking over her man because you are a smoking hot chick and she is feeling intimidated. Sometimes they will be wishing in their heart, I wish I am still single. I wish I never had babies. So they will be attacking. So don't look at that. Don't mind that. Mind your journey. Carry yourself responsibly. Uphold your self-respect. Utilize the lessons you learn in your 20s, like she mentioned, for your positivity and not to demotivate you. Let it be a reflection to propel you to the next level. Do not make yourself available for rackety married men because you feel like I am old, I am 30 and above. They there are certain men that will not certain men that will not look my way again. Don't listen to those voices. What you will attract, you will attract. It all depends on you and how you package yourself and how you carry yourself and the energy inside of you. Men hear it. Times have changed. Times have completely changed. Men don't even want to be with those 20s that are just about grabbing, grabbing, grabbing. They want to be with somebody that is, that has life experience, that can calm down and do life with them. Work together with them and build. And that is the reason why when the question, what do you bring on the table comes in? Because men are tired of women that comes with baggages and headaches and troubles. Because remember I said, the person you go the street of marriage journey with will determine your destruction or your makeover. So it is going into that marriage journey is very important. So do not say you set yourself up to be surrounded by married men that would want to take advantage of you and be reminded you always that you are old, they are doing you a favor. They are not doing you no favor. And that is not your destiny. Move your mind away from that. So for you to be able to overcome the challenges this lady is talking about, I will say it again, do not give up on you. Always get up and keep moving. If you fail here, do not stand there and keep crying. Stand up and keep moving. And do not make yourself up to be someone that everybody will be looking up to and pity you because you are single and everything. And one important uh, lesson I want you to learn. I am doing it. I don't owe anybody any explanation of how old I am. Most times you ask me, how old are you? It is none of your business. I don't discuss my age. As long as age has nothing with the business I and you is, dis is discussing. Why am I doing that? Because it will save you a whole lot of headache if you start doing this and reduce the amount of negative voices that people bring into your brain. People ask for your age most times because of selfish reasons. It is not in any way to help you but in so many ways to guilt you and make you start thinking about your whole life journey. So save yourself the stress and stop discussing your age if it is not necessary. Some people will find it rude, but believe me, it will save you a whole lot of stress. <laughs> this is with experience.